Scott, you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Loud and clear. Move your mic really close to your mouth like mine. Got there you. you go. Now you hear yourself better, don't you? Yeah. All righty.
now. We ease the nose forward. Feel it getting lighter? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You'll notice it right away. Oh, okay. If you don't do it that fast, you don't feel it. But if you do it too fast, you're going to feel that every time. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Remember I told you, you, you yeah, were you wondering if you'd be able to feel it. Yeah, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. There's no way to not feel it. So that's why we ease it forward ever so slowly so that we can level off without climbing. And I 
try to make sure I'm into the wind more than anything. Now I'm under 40. As I start to sink, I add more and more collective. Very gradually. Yeah, 16 like transition long I feel, I feel uh, to to work, uh, I'm just holding yeah. a cyclic for the speed. As we slow down, there's 30. And now I'm adding some power as we get slower and left pedal so the nose doesn't yaw. Every time I add power, I do that. Now we're down at 20 knots. 300 feet per minute. And there's the wind sock. Going right into the wind. Into the wind always. And then we stop. I can't land. We stop here for a second. Look straight ahead. And I pull back the translational lift went away. Look at our airspeed, 25 knots with that wind. 20 to 25, depending on where it's from. So now I'm going to pull shop here. That was awesome. I think you'd like that. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I just try to make it as much fun as I can in 18 minutes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know I gotta say, I gotta say, this is an awesome experience. Good deal. Good deal. Now you're gonna start flying again as we head back. I want you to roll out toward me a little bit right now. Don't raise the nose, ease it forward, and right pressure now. Right pressure, there you go. Now you notice from all my inputs how subtle it is. Now you do that, you'll be fine. A little bit more forward, ease it forward. There we go. Ease it forward. So we don't climb, there we are, and hold that right pressure. The faster we go, the more right pressure you need. You understand? Yeah, I feel Excellent. that. Excellent, you feel it, exactly. Yeah. So just to respond to feeling. And this is what I was telling you when we were on the ground, dude. Yeah. I knew, because you're a heavy equipment operator, you would feel everything. Yeah, I can feel that. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you were not sure of this. Yeah. But that's why I reassured you, and I told you, you'll feel everything, don't even sweat it. <laughs> yeah. And you are, aren't you? Yeah, feeling everything. Everything. Nose forward. Nose forward. Easy. Don't get weightless. And I'm going to lower the collective so we can get down without going too fast because we're high. Yeah, Feel that? Yeah, right pedal. Feel that? Down. Feel that? Currently still Oscar. And the uh, altimeter is 298216 right, 16 left in use. Report stag in the 405. This is static quick turn right. Follow the street. Yeah, we had up here. Sorry about that. Uh, is that the same street we were on? Yep. Oh, yep. Stand for. And then uh, is three Victor Hotel is uh, back on the Sadaqua arrival. I got a three Victor Hotel report Balboa. We'll report Balboa three Victor Hotel. Thank you, sir. Okay, so now we'll get down to 13 still, and then we'll add more power. The nose will rise when you raise the collective, so we have to add forward pressure on the cyclic. You understand? Yeah. Good. A little bit more right, just a hair, just a hair, not too much. Now bring the collective up. There you go, and forward pressure on the cyclic. Left pedal, exactly. That right there, beautiful, dude. Hold that pressure there. Real subtle movement. Uh, like, like a hair. Yeah. I told you, it's finesse. Yeah. Total finesse, every step of the way. Nose rises, you ease it forward a hair to not create weightlessness, but so it doesn't balloon up. You understand? That's yeah. what he was saying on the video. So yeah. instead of pushing hard, if it really becomes a problem with an updraft, see what I'm doing? Yeah. Lowering collective right pedal. Leaving the nose there, so it comes back down. Victor Hotel, there's traffic that's also going inbound from the northwest corner from the east side of the airport. Proceed direct to the northwest corner, present position, landing northwest corner, get your other Copy that, Three Victor Hotel, proceed direct to our position from here. Okay, so he's going to make us go direct, so we're in turn now. See how I'm doing that? Uh, Subtle pressure, now start adding a little bit of right. There you go. And we'll keep our speed up for this guy. So I added the power back in, forward pressure a little bit. Forward pressure and right. There you go, very good. Very nice, dude. See it rise, ease it forward, just a little. Oh, remember, see that? Yeah. yeah. Look in the distance every time. Never look at gauges. Never, well, not, not staring at them is really the case. Yeah. You occasionally look at them, but you don't stare at them. So we're gonna do the same thing here on the approach, by the way. After four number Charlie traffic is uh, short final for only one six right. That's the uh, point bike. Okay. I had it. So we're gonna do this together. I want you to do as much as possible with me talking you through. We lower the collective now with right pedal. A lot. The runway. Feel how much I'm lowering it. Right cyclic also. More right. I had more right. There you go. There you go. See how much I'm lowering the collective and pedal? A lot of 
off right away then you, you can't know. yeah you just let it go well we got to do a two minute cool down so i make sure it's below the three and the 350 which it already is but we still have a minute and a half or so to cool it off because if we shut it down immediately the oil and the valve guides can congeal right. and seize in the valves right. on the guides so that ruins the engines you understand engines yeah, yeah. so we have that two issue minutes. two minutes we'll cool down. Two, two, two minute cool down so i'll go a minute and a half because the temperatures are already good enough watch it cool off keep it above the yellow now i want you to notice something Feel that vibration? Yeah. Feel that vibration? Yeah. This is the sweet spot. When I'm shutting down, the blades sail because of the wind. I keep hunting for that sweet spot. If I nail it down, then I've got it. But if I go the wrong way and it gets worse, I just go the opposite way and it gets better. And I'm instinctively already know where to go. Yeah, I right. got you. Okay? So there's a minute and 15 seconds right there. Shutting down is very important too, I guess you could say. Uh, we're taking care of the engine. Yeah. That's the real reason. We're watching, we're watching these temps more than anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we got a good minute and a half. The temps are excellent. Now touch the throttle. I'm going to roll it all the way over into an over-traveled detent. When it gets below the yellow, I let go and watch, feel it spring back. All yeah. by itself, it springs back to that off position. Well, okay. And then I disengage for 30 seconds and then I shut down. <clears throat> Awesome cool. Kevin. Hey, I gotta say. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good there. So that's the procedure, shutdown procedure. Right? Properly done, yes. Yeah. Except you'll be doing it with a checklist. No. This is in my head. <laughs> okay. I've been doing this a long time, you know, so it's kind of yeah. automatic. So notice the vibrations, now watch what I do to keep it smooth. Yeah. You feel it, huh? I feel, I feel it, and, yeah. I, and if I sense it getting rougher... Well, you can find it. I, but I'm going by the blade sailing and feeling the vibration start, and I just move into a position that stops it. That simple. Hmm. And then within 30 seconds, grab the rotor brake, gradually slow it down. Now, if you decide to go for this mosquito thing, you're going to need 10-hour packages in this thing, which will show you how to hover, do quick stops, maneuver around, but not really fly. Right. And then you'll need another package to nail that down. Got to 
do it in something like this before you can fly that thing by yourself. Oh, I know. Got to crawl before you can walk. Right? That's it. <laughs> That's it. And I'll give you a card. You know, when you have questions or anything you want to go over, or, you know, you want to figure out how to go about accomplishing something else that you got in mind. You know, I can go over all that with you and show you that whole routine. Then we stop the blades, lock it down. If that light is out, 